What's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a paint job, essentially. I got a 1987 GMC Sierra that's in Arizona. I'm in Washington. I gotta fly over there and my dad and I, we are gonna do a paint job, which is gonna be quite a, quite a amount, big amount of work. So I got five days to get this done because I gotta be at back up here in time to go to work. So um, I have a plane in about two and a half hours that is leaving to, over there. Haven't packed anything yet. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and what to do and what to buy. So let's go, let's go do it, let's go. We got, can't start unless you do it. So made it in yesterday, um, yesterday night. We've already gotten to work this morning. It's about 11 o'clock and uh, here's the truck. So what we've done so far today was take off the bumpers, grills, all the trim and chrome, signal lights here. And what you want to do is just get off all these little bits and pieces because we're going to have to paint underneath them all. So, and then uh, did order up some new trim. I took some measurements um, on the old trim just to make sure everything was even and where everything was because all that was factory. So, um, tail lights, we're going to start doing some rust repair right down here so we got a lot of work to do but it's 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 happening we got a big debt that we just welded up right here and we're gonna try to pull that out so also another big thing when you're taking off every little piece possible get it all labeled up nice and pretty so it's an easy install on the way in so we're gonna get to work on pulling this dent out, so stay tuned. Got some Bondo sitting right there. Take care of this low spot. Mom's over here scuffing up the paint. How's it going? Good. Nice. <laughs> I'm the yeah, right on. So to put this in perspective for everybody, we're gonna get this whole paint job done in about five days and see if we can do it.
Got the first three coats done for the red. Red is done. Prepping the white now, getting that all set up, letting the red dry a little bit longer because we sprayed that late last night. So it's still lightly tacky, but it looks really good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna let the red dry. I'm gonna finish cleaning up some little stuff, clean up this collar a little bit, and then tape the window and uh, get this thing prepped for paint today. This whole truck's gonna be painted today. Saturday, we're way ahead of schedule, so let's get after it. So this, this red's been drying for, oh, I don't know, 11, 12 hours, so. We're gonna call that good and we're gonna start taping off the red and uh, getting ready for the white to get spritzed on down with some paint. Got a lot of stuff to do. I gotta tape all this right there. And then I gotta worshy wash all the white and get all the dust off. And when that's done, we're gonna clean the floors, spritz those down and we should be ready. Progress.
single stage enamel. I did a gallon of white, a quart of red. Had a little bit left over of the red and every bit of that gallon is in this truck of the white. So, turned out pretty good. It's got some shine back. Can see my reflection. Sort of, right there. Help! Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Get all this tape and all this junk off and pull her out of the garage. That paint job took them a year to do. The one we're doing, five days. <laughs> Okay, that was it. Five days down, a um, lot of work completed. It was a fun trip. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, this, this particular paint job, this one stage acrylic enamel paint job is a lot of work. You have to devote a good we, we could have probably extended this paint job for another five days just in body work. Um, we, we established that, you know, given the time that we had and what the truck was going to be used for, it wasn't necessary to make it a show, showroom truck. So it's going to be my camping truck up here. Um, so we didn't get down the knee degrees in the, of the body work stuff. We did do a little bit of body work, but not... You know, we, we still left a couple dents on top of the roof and a couple in the hood, but yeah, if, if you want to do a real solid, super clean paint job, get, get about 10 days of eight hour days of just getting out all those dents, all the rust. Our main focus on this paint job was getting the rust out, which we did. So this truck has like no rust in, in the paint anymore. Still has some underneath, but not not crazy. But um, thanks for watching. This truck is going to be driving up to Washington, probably within the next year. And I've got a bunch of more modifications I'm doing to it. Paint was the big one. Uh, we've got 
we've got uh, storage container compartments in the bed of the truck with some water tanks, maybe some solar, some LED lights, making the kind of a cool little camping rig. We've got a tire, spare tire carrier coming. Um, we've got some moldings, windows, seals, weather stripping, everything. So we still got a lot of work to do to this thing before it's ready to come up in this nice rainy weather. But um, the paint was definitely a win. So we did it five days, got after it. It all went well, so love you guys. We'll see you.